I'm Coach MK. Before we begin, you should know we're going to spend most of our time talking about the work. What work do you want to do? What work are you ready to do? That question is the most important one. It's the one we have to consider over and over and over again as you move through your fitness journey, and it's the one I'm going to press you on constantly. I know you aren't afraid of hard work. That's why you're a boss. You're a boss with a lot of demands on your time. You are amazing. I'm in awe of you, and it's such an honor to serve you as your coach. Some months, boss, you're going to have bandwidth and therefore desire to do more work. Other months, you won't. You won't have time to bathe, much less run, and that's okay. It doesn't mean you're backsliding. It means you're being a boss in some other area of your life, and we are rooting for hashtag team boss. We don't judge our runners by the runs or the strength that they missed. We will never segregate on the basis of pace. We look at the big picture, what work you've been doing recently, and what work you want to do next. That's it. You don't need a do-over just because life got in the way. The way we see it, what you're paying for is a plan to follow, a reset button each month, a chance to jump back in and start fresh, as well as a cheer squad each time you show up. All of our programs offer options to add in more work each week through the month and then resets to a baseline at the start of the next month. You can jump in at any time and make the program work for you. That is the power of guided DIY. I'm here to give you all the guidance you need and answer all the questions you have so you get all the support of a training program without the pressure. No judgment. No shame. Not ever. You can see both Rebuild and Maintain in the members area of the website now. After reading the content and watching the video explanations, if you are still on the fence about which program is right for you, you can compare the two by taking both download codes, putting them in Training Peaks, and taking a look next to each other. Another option is once you put the codes into Training Peaks, you can print the plans out, or at least the first week, and lay them down next to each other. That's one way to do it. There are many others. Those are the easiest, but we're going to stop here and say welcome. And for those of you that are coming back, welcome back. I am so grateful and so honored to get to coach and love you a little bit longer.